You! <laughs> you are not worth the dust which the rude wind blows in your face. <laughs> I fear your disposition, that nature which condemns its origin cannot be bordered certain in itself. She that herself will sliver and debranch from her maternal sap performance must wither and come to deadly use. No more. The text is foolish. Wisdom and goodness to the vile seem vile. Filth savor but themselves. What have you done? Tigers, not daughters. What have you performed? A father and a gracious old aged man whose reverence even the head hugged bear would lick. Most barbarous, most degenerate have you maddened. Could you, my good brother, suffer you do it? A man, a prince, by himself befitted, benefited. <laughs> if the heavens do not their visible spirits send quickly down to tame these vile offenses, it will come. Humanity must perform, perforce prey on itself, like monsters in the deep. Milk livered man that bearest cheek for blows, a head for wrongs, who hast not in the brows of an eye discerning thine honor from thy suffering, that not knowest fools do the, those villains pity who are punished, ere have they done their mischief. Where's thy drum? France spreads her, his banners in our noiseless land. With plumbed helm thy state begins to threat. Whilst thou, a moral fool, sits and cries, Alack, why does he do so? See thyself, devil. Proper deformity shows. Not in the fiend so horrid as in a woman. O oh, vain fool, thou changed and self-covered thing, for shame, be monster not thy feature, weren't my fitness to let these heads obey my blood, they are apt enough to dislo dislocate and tear thy flesh and bones, however thou art a fiend. A woman's shape doth this. Marry your manhood, Mew. What news? Oh, my good lord, the Duke of Cornwall is dead. Slain by his servant, going out to put out the other eye of Gloucester. Gloucester's eye? A servant that he bred, thrilled with remorse. Opposed against the act, bending his sword to his great master, who, threatening rage, flew on him amongst the field and dead, but not without that harmful stroke which sought since hath plucked him after. This shows you are above your justices, that these neither crimes so speedily vringe. But oh, poor Gloucester, lost he his other eye? Both, both, my lord. This letter, madam, craves a speedy answer. Tis from your sister. One way I like this well, but being widow and the, my, my Gloucester with her may all the building in my fancy pluck upon my height for life. Another way, the news is not so tart. I'll read an answer. Where was his son when they take his eyes? Come with me, lady, hither. 
He is not here. No, my good lord. I met him back again. Knows he the wickedness? Aye, my good lord. Twas he informed him against him and quit his house on purpose, that their punishment might have the freer course. Gloucester, I live to thank thee for thy love thy showest to the king, and to revenge thine eyes, come hither, friend, and tell me more thou what's 